A lot of media out here, Julie, and your timing is perfect because that is Michael Cohen inside that Cadillac Escalade that just pulled up to that checkpoint there on the access road to the Federal Correctional Center in Otisville. He just drove in. Uh, they, are, they set up that checkpoint to keep the media and the curious away, but obviously they're going to let that vehicle pass through for Michael Cohen to check in and begin his sentence. Uh, so that just happened moments ago. The president's former personal attorney pleaded guilty last year to multiple charges, including tax evasion, campaign finance violations, and lying to Congress, and must serve at least 30 and a half months of his three-year sentence. So he will most likely not drive back out again until November 2021 at the earliest. This federal correctional institute at Otisville was Cohen's first choice. He'll be in a minimum security camp, but will wear prison-issued clothing and adhere to a strict schedule, including a 6 a.m. wake-up call every day, a work assignment, of course, three square meals, and lights out at 11.30 every night. We spoke with a former federal inmate who offers advice to first-time convicts. He says that Cohen should be grateful for his sentence and keep a low profile. We encourage our clients to become deferential, to become humble, to not spend their days in prison talking about the money they made, the deals they did, the private planes they flew on. That does not impress longer-term prisoners. If anything, it can be off-putting. It could lead to problems and a whole lot of, a whole lot of drama. Paperni says Otisville is known as one of the best federal prison camps in the country. So uh, Michael Cohen made a good choice and should have plenty of time to write his memoir. Uh, again, he is in that Escalade, mm -hmm. waiting to be issued past that checkpoint, Julie, and begin serving that three years. I mean, from where you stand, it looks gorgeous. Uh, from what it looks like inside, who knows? But I do understand that this is among the top ten cushiest prisons, uh, if you want to term cushy as a, a prison term. But what's it like on the inside there? Well, I've never been in there, fortunately. I, I, well, that's good uh, to know, Rick. But, uh, Thanks for disclosing that. Full but disclosure. It is, it's also it's also the closest uh, minimum security prison uh, to his family, which right. uh, apparently is one of the reasons why he wanted to stay up here so that they could easily come visit him. Um, but again, yeah, it's beautiful countryside, uh, and it's from what I've heard a, a, a very nice uh, prison camp, and it is minimum security. But he will have to follow the rules, and uh, like uh, our guest said, he needs to keep a low profile if he wants to. Uh, yeah, Get maybe holding news conferences right Again. before he goes to prison isn't exactly low profile, but the judge will attack that one. All well, right, he, did, he didn't take any questions. No, he didn't. He didn't take any questions outside his apartment, and he didn't stop from me here. No. Uh, so uh, maybe we'll hear more from him when he gets out.